Hey everybody, welcome to Gluten Free For All TV. Brioche is a very decadent French bread. This gluten free version is great on its own with jam or used as French toast. It's also really easy to make. Start with one quarter cup of lukewarm water, two and a quarter teaspoons of dry active yeast, and one tablespoon of sugar. Give it a good mix and set aside in a warm place for about 10 minutes. Great, now let's move to our dry ingredients. In a mixing bowl, add three and a half cups of gluten-free white flour blend. To this, add one teaspoon of xanthan gum and a third cup of granulated white sugar. Give it a good mix until everything's well distributed. And now we're gonna move on to our wet ingredients. Get your bowl set up on your mix master and you wanna utilize your dough hooks. By now, our yeast should be nice and frothy. So slowly add it to your flour. We're gonna turn this on and we're gonna let it mix for about a minute, minute and a half, just to make sure that everything's well incorporated. Don't worry if it's really dry, it's supposed to be this way. Now we need to add our eggs, seven in total to be exact. Just add them one at a time. Scrape off any dry bits with a spatula, just ensuring that everything is really well incorporated. The next ingredient we need is unsalted butter, slightly softened and cubed. We need 375 grams or about a cup and a half. The butter is going to give our bread an incredible richness and smoothness. It's really what makes this bread so decadent. As your mixer continues to run, add the butter cube by cube. You want to be left with a nice glossy batter. Cover the bowl with lightly greased cling film and leave to prove in a warm place for about 3 hours or until the dough has doubled in size. Now this is looking really good. I'm warning you right now this is going to be a really light but sticky dough. So you're going to need a little extra gluten-free flour mix to put on your hands and on your tabletop to keep this dough from sticking to everything. So knock back the dough on your flour dusted surface and knead again with your hands, dusting liberally with flour. I know it's really sticky, but try not to add too much flour. You want to keep your dough as moist as possible. Too much flour will result in a dry bread. If you're going to bake these in actual brioche pans, Divide the dough in two and place in the greased pan. If you don't have a brioche pan, don't worry about it. You can use a simple loaf pan as well. I've just simply greased mine with butter. Carefully place your dough into the pan. You don't need to worry too much about the shape of it because this is going to double again in size as we're going to let it rise. But before we do, we need to brush on an egg wash. In a separate bowl, add one medium free range egg and two tablespoons of sugar. Give it a good whisk, and then you want to take a pastry brush and brush it over the top of your loaf, making sure that it's all covered. Cover your loaf lightly with a layer of cling film and leave in a warm place for another one or two hours or until the loaf has doubled in size again. Once this is done, we're going to give it one last brush with our egg glaze, and then we're going to pop it in the oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes. You'll know they're done when they turn a lovely golden brown color and sound hollow when you tap them. Just allow to cool on a cookie rack and enjoy with your favorite jam or even make French toast. It's a delicious alternative to conventional bread. Bon appetit! If you liked that video and you'd like to see more, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching!